Yeah! Yeah! We didn't make it! Oh, no! <laughs> hey guys, how's it going? My name is Neil and welcome back to Beam NG Drive. And in today's episode of things that should not be possible, in this game, but somehow are a thing. Uh, we're gonna be checking out a mod by the guy named Dummies Man, who's made a ton of awesome stuff uh, over the years, and this one is no exception. It is absolutely insane. So, if you guys heard of the game Polybridge, it's basically a little two and a half D uh, game where you build bridges and you got to send stuff over them without the bridge building. Well, Dummies Man thought, why can't we uh, export bridges from that game, uh, custom bridges that you make? and put them in Beam NG Drive, and that's exactly what he did, and it's fully working. So the game is basically integrated with Beam NG Drive the same way uh, automation is at this point. So really first, uh, we need to find a place that could use a bridge, and we're on Crash Hard 2.0, uh, which has a lot of spaces that could actually use some bridges here. So we're gonna find one. Now the obvious choice uh, would be the giant bridge in the middle of the map that's that's broken in half, but my skills at building bridges in Polybridge are not the best yet. I mean, I just got the game a couple days ago. I've just uh, barely played along with it, uh, but yeah, that's a pretty big bridge that we would have to build, so I kind of want to start, at least on this episode, uh, I kind of want to start on a little bit of a smaller scale here, uh, so I think a perfect choice uh, would be right around here. Now, that's a pretty big bridge still. I would say uh, maybe a hundred feet or so. Would you guys say that's a hundred feet or so? Maybe 150. I don't really know. We're gonna need a long, long bridge for this. Is there any, uh, is there any shorter gaps here that I could use? <laughs> because this is a pretty, I guess we could start really, really, really small and just have one that kind of cuts across, uh, this. That's probably only like 50 or so feet, uh, right there. So, you know, honestly, I think that's a pretty good space uh, to start, so we're actually gonna head over, we're gonna switch games, weird, I know, right? Uh, over to Polybridge, and we're gonna attempt, <laughs> we're gonna say attempt, attempt to build a bridge, uh, to, uh, to, uh, go across the divide, the great divide here. Alrighty, guys, so here we are in Polybridge, look how adorable this game is, man, I love the art style, the very, very low poly... Uh, kind of design here. I love it. Anyway, we're gonna go over to the sandbox here because uh, this is where we're gonna be doing most uh, of our building here. So I, I think in this kind of situation, it's better to have a longer bridge, like way too long than it is to be uh, too short. So I think this is probably good. Uh, there's a lot of math that I could be doing here that I'm not. So don't get too mad at me. Uh, but I, we're just going for a very, very basic bridge here. We just want it to work. Okay. <laughs> I'm not worried about safety regulations uh, and stuff like that. So we're going to put one of these right there. One of those right yeah, and then I think we can get building here. All right. So obviously we need a road. So let's just get this out of the way real quick. There we go. Perfection. Uh, I guess, should we make this a steel bridge or a wooden bridge? I don't feel like this necessarily needs to be a steel bridge. So we're just going to go like that. And actually, I guess we could just go one across for right now or one up and across right now. And then down to there. Whoops. I need to get, okay. Whoops. Okay. Yeah. This just goes to show I'm not, I'm not, I'm not too good at this game yet guys, but uh, just give me some time and uh, I'll get her figured out, I promise. Okay, so there's a very, very, very basic bridge here. Let's see if it just collapse, un collapse under its own weight. Yes, it does, right in the middle. Okay, so apparently we need to, uh, to beef this up a little bit, <laughs> which, you know, I expected it. It broke right in the middle, uh, so there's no way we're going to get a car across that, let alone anything uh, actually heavy, so I guess... I guess we just keep building up. <laughs> Maybe in the middle, though, so we don't add too much weight. Oh, actually, that would just add more weight. I don't know. I'm not good at br bridge building, guys. I'm sorry. All right, so I think we might actually need some supports a little bit lower here. So I'm actually going to put some of uh, these down here and then maybe 
we can kind of connect them uh, this way. Like, so I don't know if this is actually going to help us much, uh, but we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out, guys. Okay, guys, I know it's not the uh, the prettiest thing. You've ever seen, uh, but we, it's standing barely. It's standing just barely. Uh, maybe I can add a couple more things to this. Uh, <laughs> yes, there we go. Oh, it's getting stronger. I can't tell if I'm making this worse or better for myself, but, uh, oh, okay. We lost a piece there. Okay. I guess I, I don't think I need this piece right here. Can I, can I delete that? Oh, beautiful. Look at that. It's not straining at all. It's definitely not pretty, but it's not breaking. And that is what we're looking for here. So I'm actually going to export this and we're going to get this thing into Beam and G Drive and uh, see if it works, which it's probably not going to. Okay, guys, so we're back. Uh, if you guys are wondering how the uh, exporting actually works, it's really uh, pretty easy. The mod comes with a little program, and as long as you know where your app data folder is, you can find the save game uh, for your poly bridge, and then you just click an export button, and then it shows up in your Beam and G Drive game. It's basically magic. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna ever know how it works, uh, but it's pretty dang cool. So now. Uh, if we go over to our, whoops, wrong menu. If we go over to our vehicle menu, we should see our new bridge down here somewhere. Now, I named this one. What did I name this one? Ah, yes. Big boy bridge. Let's, <laughs> let's spot her up and uh, see what happens here. There she is. There she is, boys. Okay. Okay. Oh, man. There's no, oh, there it is. The road didn't spawn up for a second. So, I don't, <laughs> <laughs> I think it might be a little bit smaller uh, than I thought it was, but luckily uh, we can actually make this thing a little bit bigger in the BeamNG uh, editor. At least I think we can, and I'm going to get this positioned really quick, and then I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, guys, so apparently you can't uh, alter the size of this particular object in BMG Drive, so it's going to turn into a ramp instead. <laughs> uh, but I'm just happy that it's here anyway. I may have got the size all wrong, but, you know, I get, I'm not going to argue with it. Hopefully we can still get across this uh, if we can. I'll be happy. Let's actually just make sure it's sturdy really quick. Uh, okay. Oh, uh, remember we made this bridge with our own two hands and there it is. It's working. It's working. Okay. Okay. So let's back it up a bit. I wish this little mound of dirt wasn't there. That's going to slow us down quite a bit, but uh, you know what? I think we just need to freaking send it here, guys. Here we go. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We didn't make it. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, we tried. We tried. You know what? Maybe we can. Uh, maybe we can put this uh, bridge somewhere else. But uh, I mean, honestly, I'm pretty happy with this already. Hold on, I just want to see if we can actually break it really quick. Maybe if I, what if I, what happens if I like just drop the uh, the car on the bridge? Is it going to break through? Oh, yeah, it is. I think we just destroyed the entire bridge. Oh wait, no, it's. <laughs> It's broken half. You see that? Oh, that's actually pretty cool, man. So you can create and destroy your own bridges. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. I'm definitely going to have to mess around with this a lot more because right now I'm basically a noob. Uh, and I think it shows. I th my bridge is way, way, way too small there. Oh, the bridge is falling. Or is it just going to hang there? For no reason. I don't know. <laughs> Very interesting. I will say that. But yeah, I think I need to mess around with this a little bit more. Uh, and maybe we can actually get up to a point where we can try to, to take on the giant red bridge in the middle. And maybe actually repair it. Which I think would be really, really freaking cool. Uh, anyway, guys, let me know what you think of this mod down below. Is this awesome? 
or is it not awesome? I don't I don't know. I think it's really awesome. And I'll have a link uh, down below. Definitely check it out if you have uh, both games. I think Polybridge is only like uh, 10 bucks. At least it was when I picked it up. Uh, definitely worth it just to play that. That game's actually just really fun in general. Uh, but the added bonus of being able to import your bridges into BMG Drive, I think, is well worth uh, the 10 bucks. But like I said, I'll have to mess around with this more. Uh, definitely look be on the lookout for a part two, uh, hopefully with a, a better bridge. But it was my first bridge, okay? Uh, that wasn't just stealing one from the game. <laughs> so it's a custom-made bridge, so I'm proud of myself. Uh, anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this episode of BMG Drive X Poly Bridge. And uh, yeah, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. See ya.